Well, this is a cracking little boat. She's called Elizabeth M. She's 40 feet long, cruiser stern, and she was built in 2006 by Stoke-on-Trent Narrowboats. She's really presentable. The paintwork's in nice condition. She was last blacked in 2020 with epoxy two-pack to the hull sides and the, um, the bow thruster tube. Engine was last serviced in May this year, 2023. Four new uh, anodes put on at the same time. There's this cruiser stern. That's uh, seven feet four inches long, actually. There's 250 watts of solar panels on the roof with a Victron solar charge controller. Really lovely welder. That crutch cover's in good condition. There's Bumble. He's going to have a look through with us. Two gas bottles in the forward locker. The water tank's under here. It's stainless steel, 450 litres. Nice bench seat at the front here with storage underneath. There's a chimney in there for the stove. It's a diesel lockgate stove. There's a separate 100 litre water um, fuel tank for that. And there's storage under each of the seats on the, on the sides. Glazed front doors, and she offers a, a lot of living accommodation really for a 40 foot boat into the saloon, carpeted to the floor. This L shaped couch turns into a bed. She's fitted out by the way, an oak face ply with oak trim. <coughs> Excuse me, got a frog in my throat. The cupboard here. So the couch is the bed, really, there's no separate bedroom. But it very easily makes up. We'll show you how to do that in a minute. Good size cupboard stroke wardrobe there. <clears throat> and the storage under this step. And there's the aforementioned diesel stove. No mess with those, they're brilliant. In here, neatly tucked away is the television, a 22 inch LG. That's on an adjustable arm. There's also a Sony DAB radio on board. It was in that cupboard we just showed you. So there's a couple of drawers under here. There's the Commodore. No, cupboards rather, not drawers. One there. And this is how you make up the bed. That just pulls out. You usually do it with two hands, it's a bit easier. And you fold the cushions down. So it's as simple as that. Really cosy feel to this room. Well, there is to the whole boat, to be honest. The radiator there, central heating is is from the lockgate stove. There's a back boiler that feeds one radiator and towel rail. Hot water on the boat is heated by the engine, the lockgate back boiler, or there is an immersion heater fitted as well. <clears throat> Cupboard in between the galley and the uh, saloon. The saloon, by the way, was 11 feet 2 inches long. There's some lights under that cupboard, by the way, some down lights. And the, uh, the galley's 6 foot 6. Bank of five drawers there. The cookers are stoves 500 DIT. It's a 12 volt fridge with an ice box. Nice oak block worktops in here. Plenty of storage. Don't think I mentioned head height on the boat. That's quite generous. Six feet five inches in the middle of the boat. And on the starboard side is a lovely Belfast sink. With an oak top to increase your work surface area. Cupboards underneath. I should mention there was a survey carried out on this boat in 2018. There's no record of it actually. The vendors oh, lost it basically, but there were no major issues. Nice side hatch there. And the rear cabin, it's quite a nice arrangement, I think, is the bathroom. A ceramic sink, a cupboard underneath. The cupboard over the sink with a mirror. There are bungs for the portholes on board. They're brilliant, they're like blackout bungs. And on the other side is the shower. It's a good sized cubicle. It's tiled. A couple of shelves in between the shower and the cabin sides, and the loo itself is a Thetford cassette. Storage under these steps as well. <clears throat> an 
And if you've ever wondered what the inside of a Jack Russell's nose looks like, I think that's the moment you've been waiting for. There we go. And he's put a lump of something on the uh, lens there. That's nice. A really good sized back deck. The engines are Beta Greenline 38 with a hospital silencer. There is a bow thruster on this boat. It's a beautifully clean engine room. It's a Vita 55 kgf bow thruster. A couple of alternators in there. One's a 100 amp, one's a 40 amp. The batteries, there's 310 amp hour domestics and 190 amp hour starter. And there's one battery for the bow thruster as well. All the lights on board are LED. There is an inverter, it's a 2.5 kilowatt Victron inverter charger, and there's also a galvanic isolation transformer on board a Victron. There is a tonneau for the back deck, I should mention. That keeps the elements out when you're not on board, or when you are on board for that matter. Really, really presentable boat, this one. I love her. So there we go, that's Elizabeth M. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website www.rugbyboats.co.uk.